All right, so Jazz getting people kind of lined up. Things are going well. You can see in the distance, they're working on our little shelter and stuff, getting the roof on. They are working hard at stuff. Get things are lined up, how many workers we need and such. Today's April 5, um, about 8.30 in the morning, getting stuff lined up. Got all our workers kind of lined up. Checking over the backhoe. Let's get the day started. Hope we get spraying done and such. Good morning. We'll kind of see what we do. So we are gonna start spraying here. We got a water wagon set up. There's our tank for water, we're putting water in, getting everything lined up. My good crew of workers here, so they've got their safety gear on. So we're all good. So, so it's about 3.30 today, April 5th, I believe. We're out spraying. So we've got the first 50 acres done. That was taller corn. Now we're into what we consider the second planted corn. This stuff looks really good. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the spacing's really good. Even, consistent. You have a few weeds out here, but not bad for being virgin ground that hadn't been farmed like this before. So this is the first time we're going across with any uh, herbicide program. We're in the process of putting down uh, atrazine and prowl. And uh, we'll come back with, a, I believe it's a Callistoax and atrazine mix. That's what we did on the first stuff over there. Of course, the shed. This is what we consider uh, better corn. Uh, didn't have the heavy rains on it. A lot more consistent in uh, the stand. Emergence and everything looks good. So uh, looking pretty good out here today as we're slowly moving away across this field. Fields conditions are dry but rough. Ground seems to get hard right away after rain the best to level, but we don't have all the equipment we have in the U.S. to get it real level, but the uh, corn looks good. So we did a quick stand town. We got about 27, 28,000 plants per acre. Hopefully you can see this here. It looks pretty consistent. Not too many doubles. Not a lot of skips. Pretty good for a plate planter. We have pretty consistent seed spacing, pretty good drop. Our uh, American planters are coming here hopefully tomorrow. They're in Tima, they're through port. They're supposed to be all done this afternoon and getting shipped up here. So we're hoping that tomorrow we're videoing uh, the container arriving, videoing it uh, as we open the doors. We did get a little video from the custom agent at Oval done a great job of helping us get it through customs very quickly. We appreciate everything that uh, Ms. Richard and Eric has done for us. Uh, it's worked out really good. We uh, hope to continue doing business with them in the future. But, uh, we're very happy with the, we call this is uh, the second planted corn. First was that 50 acres, which I said earlier. This stuff looks uh, Really nice, really consistent. Very excited about it. We'll see what it can do for yield. This has a lot of potential. Oh, it's about six o'clock. Uh, my last tank spray I'm going to put on. We're using a product called Prowl now. Ran out of the Metellicor. It's basically a tool. This is a pen to pack, I believe they call it, but it's basically a Prowl. Prowl atrazine is one point down. Uh, it's going well. Good. Getting our early uh, post on. It's going good. 